Like many success stories in multinational companies, Pacific Trucks began in 1947 as the ambitious project of three friends, former employees of Hayes Trucks, whose vision was focused on creating powerful transportation machines with a high degree of customization to satisfy the diverse needs of each customer. Becoming one of Canada's most iconic and representative companies, this North American brand embodied its ambitious goal in the form of ultra-powerful and highly resilient trucks for industries such as forestry and mining. In the same year of its founding, the company managed to sell its first vehicles destined for forestry operations, something that strongly characterized it and gave it legendary status in its home country. They quickly increased their workforce fivefold, producing up to one truck per day. Due to the great success they had achieved, by 1970, Pacific Trucks had gained international recognition. This, along with its recent acquisition by International Harvester, led customers from different parts of the world to become more interested in the reliable P-Series of trucks. One of the many companies interested at the time was South Africa Railway, which is part of the South African Railway and Port Administration. They were looking for Pacific Trucks to become their reliable supplier, capable of providing them with four heavy-duty service trucks capable of transporting loads of up to 400 tons. True to the special customization philosophy with which the company was founded, and with the goal of providing the right attention, the manager of engineering and development at Pacific Trucks at that time, Gwyn Jenkins, traveled to Africa to learn about the loading operations and routes to which these trucks were destined. After his arrival in September 1971 and various consultations, the model offered by the Canadian brand was called the P-12. Although it wasn't until May 1972 that Pacific was notified of its successful bid, by November of the same year, the four requested units had already been shipped by sea to their destination, Johannesburg, South Africa. It is worth noting that the P-12 model had never been built before, so the impressive pace of work, as well as the speed in the development and production of the trucks, pleasantly surprised the African company. Despite the fact that the originally selected model, intended to handle the work that typically revolved around indivisible loads for power plants, met the required expectations in terms of engine power close to 600 horsepower, the South African Railway Company requested an even larger and more powerful model, capable of operating together like a sort of road train. It was then that, using the proven P-12 as a base, the Canadian company set out to redefine the concept of a road train. Known as the Pacific Ultra, these resulting units were not only the most powerful on the road, but also had the highest traction capacity of their time, capable of pulling 370 tons of cargo without any problem. Their distinctive design with a massive hood served to conceal the powerful 27-liter Cummins V12 1710 engine, which generated a whopping 800 horsepower to propel its three driven axles. Additionally, these trucks had enormous radiators to maintain a stable temperature, mainly because the areas they regularly had to traverse could have ambient temperatures as high as 40 degrees Celsius. The nature of their operations allowed them to perform individual or collective transports. Additionally, some units were equipped with a cabin-like structure on the chassis, which allowed the members of the transportation team to rest during long shifts. This combined with the fact that the height of these trucks was over 5 meters, made them look like giant locomotives moving along the highways. The reliability of these powerful machines, especially their qualities for heavy transport in the 1970s, quickly made them highly acclaimed among some of the major African transport companies. Today, companies like Rotran continue to extend their service life, making them a truly viable option for super heavy and oversized loads. These Pacific Ultras are often seen operating in conjunction with more modern units, like the powerful Tractomas, and are revered as trusted veterans. 
However, they also occasionally work in groups consisting solely of ultra trucks, albeit less frequently. Nevertheless, the fact that these trucks were developed in the 1970s makes them increasingly old and difficult to maintain in working condition. Interestingly, the simultaneous gear changes are made through radio commands between the drivers themselves due to the lack of modern electronic systems. However, while this mega truck project yielded results and brought exceptional international prestige to the Canadian company, the construction of this robust line of trucks did not provide the company with more significant benefits. Additionally, the real sector of importance for Pacific Trucks was the forestry and mining industries. The new transportation requirements also led to this model serving mainly as the basis for improved versions, among which the P-16 truck stands out as the successor to the P-12 in terms of general heavy-duty transport trucks. It is worth noting that after its ownership by International Harvester, Pacific Trucks became the property of another company based in Singapore in the early 1980s. This expanded the reach of its units, allowing them to enter the Asian and Malaysian markets, mainly in the forestry sector that characterized the brand. Unfortunately, poor management decisions and various financial crises caused the development and production of heavy-duty trucks to cease being a priority, resulting in the last official Pacific unit being produced in 1991. During the 44 years of the brand's existence, a total of 2,308 trucks of different models were manufactured, of which only 23 were Pacific Ultra, representing just 1% of the entire production. After the closure of its production lines, the brand focused entirely on the sale and distribution of spare parts until it was acquired in 2002 by Coast Powertrain Limited, who became owners of all the blueprints, models and templates that the Canadian company managed to develop in nearly half a century. Curiously, there is a very peculiar story about these trucks. In 1995, once again, a group of three mechanics who had worked for the company for decades took on the project of building another Pacific truck using spare parts and pieces they had in a warehouse in Vancouver. With great success, they unofficially produced what would be the last truck of this brand. It was manufactured in the back of a workshop, and it was necessary to demolish a wall to remove the enormous 25-ton truck. Before you go, we'd like to recommend our channel, Gear Unlimited. You'll find excellent content on various topics that we're sure you'll enjoy. Thank you for joining our community. If you haven't already, Make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.